Simone Biles, with 37 Olympic and World Championship medals, is already the greatest gymnast of all time. But now, she's taken it a step further with an incredible new floor routine for the Paris Games. Can you believe she's still redefining the sport with each performance? Remember her original Biles move on the floor? That was the double back layout with a half twist. She debuted it back in 2013 at the World Championships, and it was instantly named after her. Then she upped the ante with Biles 2, a triple double uh, that's two flips and three twists in a tucked position. She first landed it in competition at the 2019 US Gymnastics Championships, and it was jaw dropping. People couldn't believe how she managed to pack so much difficulty into one tumbling pass. But Simone Biles never stops pushing the envelope. Her new routine for the Paris Games this summer is a testament to that. She's already got the most difficult all-around program in the world, but she's found room for upgrades. This new routine starts with a bang on the low bar, with a Whittler kip half maloney shang combo, which is worth 0.3 in bonus points. This combo is a brand new release for her, adding even more flair and difficulty to her performance. Then, she moves on to a piked CE chive to pack sequence, adding another 0.1 in bonus. The transitions are where things get really interesting. From the low bar, she transitions back up to the high bar with a Von Ley one, which is rated E. And just when you think she can't possibly top what she's already done, she nails the dismount with a toe on full to FA Noah combo, again worth 0.1 in bonus. This is an upgrade from her regular full in dismount, which is already impressive, but Simone always aims higher. Plus, she'll get two additional tenths for performing a dismount of D or higher value. All these upgrades bring her routine start value to a whopping 6.5, which is above average even for top all-around gymnasts. Which brings us to her new floor routine. It all starts on the low bar with a Whittler kip half maloney shang combo. This might sound like a mouthful, but it's essentially a super complex and impressive series of moves that earn her 0.3 bonus points right off the bat. This combo is a new release for Simone, and it's already setting the stage for an extraordinary routine. Right after that, she transitions into a piked siege chive to pack sequence, adding another 0.1 in bonus. It's these intricate transitions and combinations that really showcase her technical prowess and creativity. Next up is the high bar transition, where she performs a Von Ley one, which is rated E. For those of us not as well versed in gymnastics lingo, that's a pretty high difficulty rating. This move isn't just about difficulty though, it's about the seamless way she connects her low bar routine to the high bar, maintaining her momentum and flow. It's one of those moments where you realize just how effortless she makes these insanely difficult moves look. Simone goes for a toe on full to FA Noah combo, worth 0.1 in bonus. This is an upgrade from her regular full-in dismount, which was already impressive enough. The thing about Simone is that she doesn't just settle for what's impressive, she always pushes for what's extraordinary. The toe-on full to FA Noah combo isn't just a testament to her skill, but also to her ability to get that extra height and perfect landing. The entire routine has a start value of 6.5, which is a significant upgrade from her previous routines. To put this into perspective, her average uneven bars score at the most recent World Championships was 14.35 with a 6.0 routine. With this new routine, she's looking at potentially pushing her scores into the high 14S if she executes it cleanly. This kind of scoring isn't just good, it's exceptional. It places her well above her competition, reaffirming her status as the greatest of all time in gymnastics. Historically, every time Simone steps onto the floor, she's not just competing, she's redefining what's possible in gymnastics. This new routine for the Paris Games is no exception. 
It sets a new standard that other gymnasts will be striving to meet for years to come. Think about it. Gymnastics has always been about pushing boundaries and evolving, and Simone is at the forefront of that evolution. Her routines are so groundbreaking that they often force the gymnastics community to rethink the scoring system just to keep up with her innovation. Most of Simone's peers have incredibly difficult routines, but they often don't match the sheer complexity and seamless execution of her performances. While other gymnasts might focus on perfecting a few high-difficulty moves, Simone packs her routine with a series of complex combinations that flow together flawlessly. It's like comparing a sprinter who's fast over short distances to a marathon runner who maintains an incredible pace over a much longer race. Simone's routines are not just about isolated moments of brilliance, they're about sustained excellence from start to finish. The technical challenges in her new routine are off the charts. Each element requires an incredible amount of precision and strength. For example, the Widler kip half maloney shang combo on the low bar isn't just a series of difficult moves. It's a test of her ability to maintain perfect form while transitioning seamlessly between complex skills. The same goes for the Von Lay 1 transition and the Toan full to F.A. Noah dismount. Each of these moves requires Simone to be at the top of her game physically and mentally. It's not enough to be strong and flexible. She also needs to have impeccable timing and spatial awareness to nail these elements. What makes Simone's routines even more impressive is the way she makes it all look so effortless. The difficulty and precision required for each new element are mind-boggling, yet she performs them with such grace and confidence that it's easy to forget just how challenging they are. This ability to combine technical prowess with artistic expression is what truly sets her apart. Imagine being a young gymnast watching Simone perform these incredible routines. It's like seeing a superhero in action. She shows that the limits we thought existed can be shattered. Young athletes everywhere look up to her, not just because she wins medals, but because she continually pushes the boundaries of what's possible. Her work ethic, creativity, and fearlessness in trying new moves motivate the next generation to dream bigger and work harder. Now, think about the impact on her competitors. Simone's new routine is going to shake things up at the Paris Games. When you're competing against someone like her, it's a game changer. Other gymnasts will have to step up their routines to stay competitive. This means we might see an overall rise in the difficulty and creativity of routines as everyone tries to keep pace with her. It's like a rising tide that lifts all boats. Simone's excellence raises the standard for everyone. The competition at the Paris Games is going to be fierce, with gymnasts pushing themselves to new heights, all thanks to the bar Simone has set. Her legacy as the greatest of all time, GOAT, is further cemented by this new routine. Every move she makes adds to her storied career, but it's not just about the medals or the records, it's about the way she transforms the sport. This routine is another testament to her innovative spirit and unmatched skill. Years from now, people will look back at Simone's performances as a turning point in gymnastics. They'll see how she didn't just dominate the sport, she redefined it. Her influence extends beyond her own career as she sets new benchmarks for what's achievable, inspiring not just her peers, but also future generations of gymnasts. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.